God damn, I don't think the camera can see me. What the? F- Hold up. <laughs> Bro, it's so fucking early. Are we good? Hello. Oh, my God. If you couldn't tell, I just woke up. <laughs> it's so early, bro. Fucking nay. What's going on today? Kagurabachi time. You know what time it is. Oh, wait. I... Adventure time. Woo. It's Kagurabachi time. <laughs> oh, my God. I gotta wake up, bro. What the fuck? Kagurabachi chapter 40. The tip. Ew. Why is it called the tip? Nasty. The enchanted blade is my merchandise, no matter what. And the goddamn projection is like freaking out proceed keep going <laughs> i will sell this goddamn sword <laughs> is this an illusion it's a real demonstration is this the shinoichi's true power bro this looks insane it's so much is happening right now an actual demonstration power beyond control of an internal contract it seems like your theory was correct senpai but the box is still mansions just laid up underground hiding like a little fucking rat <laughs> he can't hold out for more than a few seconds but i can't let up on him just in case he said kuro oh slicing that nigga up even though he's oh that's fucking fire bro. that's fire this reminds me of um when gata when it gets sasuke in the tuning exams and gawa wins that sandball and sasuke charged the chidori he was just like ah uh, ran down stabbed that nigga and gawa was like i'm bleeding I'm bleeding my blood. <laughs> blood. It's my blood. But why did the Hishaku put the Shinoichi up for auction in the first place? Probably to get the Kabunami to bid for it. They went to the trouble of stealing the enchanted blades. Of course, they'd want to use them. In that case, they first have to kill the owners. So, oh shit, bro. This is getting fucking deep. Like layers upon layers upon layers holy fuck the kabunabi are hiding the sword masters under strict protection somewhere in japan naturally the hishaku want to break through the current deadlock even if the kabunami did get a hold on the shinoichi they wouldn't be able to keep it under containment there would inevitably be internal conflict bro yeah exactly you got some as powerful as that fucking thing like jesus christ they treating this sword like the nine-tailed fox they like we gotta seal this motherfucker okay this shit is too powerful they might move the master swordsman at any oh shit that's the guy from earlier are we gonna see him do something? I almost ignored him. I was just like, oh yeah, it's just a guy. I was like, oh, this is the guy from earlier. I hope we get to see him do something. That'd be fire. At any rate, I think the Hishaku are seeking some kind of distraction to kill the swords master. Oh. Okay, I'm here for it. The Shinoichi is unique. That's why it's under more protection than the others. To contain the Shinoichi's unique ability to overpower its eternal contract. What the hell? It was protected in that box for 18 years after the war, and even you never saw what was inside Chihiro. Damn. This motherfucking sword must be fucking strong. Holy shit. The seal in that box was also extremely robust. Ew. Robust. <laughs> Those Kabunabi old farts created it. To break the seal and open the box, you need bio-authentication from those three. What the- I need bio-authenticate- oh my god, bro. Just send me, uh, the goddamn, uh, code on my phone. That'd be so much easier. <laughs> just send- yeah, just send him up through email. That'd be light. You know what I'm saying? It might be possible to independently analyze the sealing ceremony and find a different approach to break the seal, but with a seal of that level, it would take- the most skilled sorcerer at least 10 years bro they're gonna break the seal obviously like i don't even have to look you think they're gonna mention how they have such a difficult unbreakable seal that's been lasting over like 18 years like no they're gonna break the, they're gonna break this shit immediately if they can't open the box they can't touch the shinoichi so it does no good for the hishako to possess it they put it up for auction to somehow shift the status quo that's my theory right so as long as the seal on the shinoichi's box is intact it's not intact anymore <laughs> They broke it. <laughs> they broke it. This motherfucking sword about to go. Sing, sing, sing. Whatever it can do. This shit is about to be crazy. Oh my fucking Christ, dude. Seeing that fucking box open, it's like, bro, what's about to go down? Oh my Lord. It can't be. It might be possible to independently break the seal. It would take at least 10 years. Psych, nigga. <laughs> 10 years more like three days the hell it's been an intense three years after that day i funneled everything into opening that box wow you sneaky little fuck but to enjoy the fruits yourself didn't you want to be the first to open it but will kiura use it he'll use it kiura sasanami lives for the rakuzaji if he's driven into a tight corner he'll grasp at straws the reason i'm letting kiura turn the key is that even if he's able to wield the shinoichi i figure the risk is greater risk so long as the shinoichi's master is alive we can't be sure we have primary command of it 
In other words, Kiora is a guinea pig. Yeah, I mean, you could assume that, right? I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, from the beginning, you could kind of tell they were using the Sazanami family, you know, as a means to use the Shinoichi, like, obviously. I am curious, though, is the guy that's that creepy looking dude, is he the Shinoichi's master? Or the one that has the contract with Shinoichi? Or is, I'm assuming it's him, right? Or is it somebody else? Yeah, and he's here right here. That's what I'm saying. It has to be him, right? Or unless it's somebody else. What will happen now? Oh my God, bro. Hikori's beat up. Chihiro's a little battered too. This is about to be. Look at the dad though. Oh my God. Dude, he looks like a Bleach character. What the fuck? He looks fucking terrifying. Oh my God. Look at it, bro. Look at the hill. Oh my, I need to know what power it can use, bro. This is nuts. Oh, he lifted up the sword. Blood fell out. Yeah, who is, oh my God, what is, is he about to do something? Oh, Magatsumi. Is that his name? And what's up with his eyes? Yo, now nah, he has to be the uh, the one with the contract with the Shinoichi. He has to have that, because look at this nigga. The blood fell and opened up. What the fuck is going on? It's sprouting flowers and a butterfly? Whoa, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> oh my god, bro. This fucking sword. I don't even think, did he even take the sword out the sheep yet? Oh my god, this is crazy. I couldn't draw the sword, but even just commanding the very tip of its power. <laughs> That's why they called it the tip early, okay. I was like, why'd they call the chapter the tip? That's crazy. But even just commanding the very tip of its power, how wonderful. Bro, the tip of the fucking sword did all that? Oh my god. The sword is literally unsheathed, and yet it's that fucking strong. Like, what the hell? Here's Hiyuki. Oh, shit. I don't, man. This is getting fucking wild. The tension is just building more and more at this point. She said, what's the situation, bro? I don't even... Oh my god. I mean, look, she's strong as hell. So, yeah. But, I mean, they've hyped up the Shinoichi to this degree, bro that it's just like i don't know well granted mans can't use the sword to its fullest potential so she'll definitely be able to help in that situation but if someone if the dude who has magatsumi if that's his name or not but the dude that's like uh with the dark eyes and stuff if he pulls up and uses the sword i don't know i really don't even know what's going to happen at this point like because hiyuki she can help she hiyuki can help obviously because mans is not going to be able to use the sword okay cool but What's going to happen? Like, it's just the details of, like, what's going to happen after this fight's over? Who's pulling up? Is someone coming to help? Is someone coming to fight them and take the sword back? It's just, like, it's just so many, like, levels of it. It's just, like, I don't know what's about to happen, bro. I really don't have much to say this chapter. The Shinoichi's been hyped up, and we saw a fraction of its strength, and it's fucking abnormally strong. Like, that's fucking terrifying. Like, it, he literally just said, sink, <laughs> with the goddamn sword, and that much power came out of it. So... Yeah, it's the sword matched the hype. I give him that for sure. But until we see what happens after Hiyuki helps out and how long Kyora can last while using the sword, a lot's happening. People are dying. Stuff's going on. But regardless, Kagurabashi chapter 40 was a great chapter. A lot of stuff happened. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. See you. Bye. I'm sorry, bro.